brand new. I think, I said to Sarah before the show, I think you're gonna love this. Um, first of all, you're seeing all these little drawers. Look, 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 you could make this. You could put in here jewelry, little sweets, snacks, hidden treasures. This is so special. It's the easel draw kit and the edgeables die. You can do this and you can do it easily. Brand new, it's only $24.95. Sarah, this might be the unexpected hit of the entire two hours because it's so unique, it's so different, and heck, it is so affordable as well. Well, that's it. And I don't just want you to think it only makes the one item because look, we can make, let's look at this. You can make it as a little mini. So if you've just made like some jewelry or maybe you made some little cookies and you want to do a little onesie, you can do the little onesie. It makes a gorgeous little box, right? You can do a little twosie. So we can just do two of them together. And I love this idea where we've used the balls to make little drawers like this. So there's a little two set. You can do your, little, you can do your three set. You can be taking them as big as you want so now we've made somebody like a little jewelry cupboard that they might want to do with all of their little drawers in but then if you want to do it how we've designed it you could make four of these drawers put the four drawers together look at these two at the front two at the back like this as well and then this is actually being made as a stationary set imagine making these as teacher gifts for the end of year how fabulous i mean they are absolutely gorgeous right so let me show you what comes in the kit, Adam, and how we're going to make it, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to be able to do your actual, you get the stencil to do the inner drawer. You get the stencil to do the outer drawer. You get the stencil for the top and bottom. And then you get three of the die sets so that we can do these three different designs going on the top of all of our pieces. So you see, for example, I'm going to make this one here for you. And it gives you that lovely finished top on the edge there. So those, the, the set of die would be another $15, Adam, just right. for the dice. Right. So the value for money is incredible in it. But you're all looking going, how does that work? It looks complicated. Let me show you, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to get your piece of cardstock. You're going to put your stencil on there. You're going to draw around it and cut it out, which is going to give you this sort of shaping here, right? You're going to fold in on all of those pencil lines that we've scored. I've just popped some tape on so that I can make mine quickly because I want you to see how it comes together. This makes the inner piece of the draw. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and there's our inner draw, right? Then you're gonna do exactly the same with the outer panel, right? So we're gonna take our cardstock, you're gonna draw around this. Once you've drawn around it, you're gonna get this sort of pattern and shape here. Once that all comes together, it's gonna to look like this. Now look how this one looks different, okay? So we're gonna fold these in first, and we're gonna stick the side pieces up there. Then the side pieces come into the top pieces like this so we end up making a lovely little draw like this that fits this in so that you get the draw going inside this little holster right, right? right so you're going to make four of those so i've got here the four of them that i've made now when you look on the overhead let me show you the different ways so we can go outwards outwards so we can either go two to the front and two on the sides okay. like this okay because they're all square or you can go one two three four like that okay. so you've okay. got the four all mixed together you're going to get the template which allows you to stick something at the top and then something at the bottom holds all of them together that will then make your lid in your base and then you've got all the decorative pieces to make basically what's an easel card to go on the top so when you see it come together, Adam, you realize it's nowhere near as complicated as you assumed it was to make the most incredible little gift boxes. And how many of you, you know, spend, a lot of people are into making jewelry these days, Adam, or maybe they make like little keepsake pieces, or maybe you make little truffles and fudge. You can actually make your own set of drawers to put them all in. I mean, that's the thing. The world is your oyster. There's unlimited options, but it is so special. I don't know, as a kid, I would find something like this so curious you know what little things could you hide in each of these little boxes
boxes. Um, you get everything you need for the $24 and change, and that's what's so nice about it. And what you just saw Sarah do in about two and a half minutes was really create from the ground up something like this. It is easier, it is simpler. And I think there's a lot of us that, as we get into the new year, we're looking for a fresh start, we're looking to discover new things and to learn new things. As you go on your crafting journey, this could be that new project. And I think that's why it's so enticing. Still to come with Sarah and I, we have two more amazing offers that I think you're gonna love. I also wanna let you know, in this hour, um, we do have the Caterpillar Pro, the ultimate trimmer at a this day only price. So definitely stay tuned for that. Sarah, this is selling like crazy, as you would imagine. We're about to go limited in terms of what's available. You must find it hard though, Sarah, always looking for that next thing, the new thing, because you wanna keep learning on your crafting journey. Do you know, it's actually not that difficult, Adam, because do you know where I go to find that out? Where? I go to our customers. Right. And I, find, and I ask our customers, what is it you're doing? What is it you want to make? Right. What is it you're struggling with? How can I help? And this is one of those trends. Everybody is really into making boxes. And how can I How can I facilitate that? Mm. What about you making like a gorgeous little gift box set like this for somebody who's into their sewing, wants to make a whole sewing compartment? Mm. How can I make it easy for you? And that's what I do. I take my inspiration and ideas from you guys and then I make what's going to make your life easy so that you can make beautiful projects like this. Even if you're a brand new beginner, Adam, and you're just starting out, imagine being able to make just the little single pieces yeah. like this. You would be so thrilled starting out and doing this and then progressing from this to the double one and to the triple one. Yes. And I just think how many different pieces do you have in your craft stash where you've got truly tools? I want you to think of this as a tool. Yeah. When we say tools, people think of things like the big cutter pillar or this is a set of tools because it will come out year and year again to enable you to make big projects like this. Well, still to come, some big things from Sarah and I. Before we go any further, though, um, if you're tuning in wondering where the today's special is, we don't have any presentations left. We are down to the final few handfuls. 